A Typhoon Maria, which is now weakening, located 27 decimal 5 degrees north, 115 decimal 6 degrees east, maximum winds 65 knots, and minimum central pressure 974. This is a look at various live streaming cameras that we used during our live broadcast nearly 24 hours ago and Typhoon Maria made landfall at 8.50 a.m. local time on the 11th of July or 050 UTC. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre finalised their uh, position uh, late yesterday afternoon. Upper level analysis showed that the radial outflow marginal vertical wind shear of 20 to 25 knots Typhoon Maria or 10W will continue to be steered to the northwest by the subtropical ridge to the northeast until dissipation due to land interaction within 48 hours dynamic model guidance is in good agreement of the forecast track leading high confidence to the JTWC forecast and as mentioned, uh, they have finalised their position. However, this system will be closely monitored for signs of regeneration. And maximum uh, wave height was 26 feet. Now this is the second uh, camera that we also showed and you can definitely see how the tide has gone down we know that it was high tide when Maria made landfall considerably calmer to what it was when we were viewing this camera during the stream. We also have a 92W up there in the West Pack and it's currently located 11 decimal 4 degrees north 143 decimal 5 degrees east, maximum winds 15 knots, and minimum central pressure at this uh, point in time is 1005 millibars. We also have this 93W located 19 decimal 5 degrees north, 110 decimal 2 degrees east, maximum winds 15 knots and a very weak central pressure, 1,010 millibar or millibars. We also have Invest 94W located 11 decimal 5 degrees north, 134 decimal 0 degrees east, maximum winds 15 knots and minimum central pressure at this point in time isn't available. We just saw the late model track and track guidance. And here's a look at the NOAA floaters on the system, and you can definitely see that 
its uh, structure is still fairly reasonable. But when you look at it, it appears a west south westerly track. Now here's a microwave view of the typhoon and again Maria's eye reached maximum 30 nautical miles and it dropped down to 9 nautical miles at one stage. Look at the ocean heat content. The final track chart from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. Along with another satellite image. And as I mentioned, uh, during our live broadcast yesterday, Moon was one of the most impressive systems that I've monitored. And here's the GFS precipitation uh, model, and it's on the Pivotal Weather website. Now we have a look at the life of the typhoon up to about five hours ago. from uh, viewing this satellite imagery, the formation of her eye. We know that she did uh, undergo eyeball uh, replacement and our updates clearly show the eye feature and the eye did reduce to around nine nautical miles You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.